If you're looking for a video on a specific topic, simply type in what you're looking for in my channel search bar. And if I have videos addressing that topic, it will take you right to them. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another PA Q&A video for you guys. If you do have questions that you want answered on a future PA Q&A video, go ahead and leave those in the comment section right now and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hi Adana, what are the rules regarding family emergencies or needing time off? For example, a death in the family or if a student gets ill and needs to stay home for a period of time? Question mark, thank you. So there are stipulations, um, you know, like for me specifically, I can only talk about my school, but for me, we get two days that we are able to miss school for, like, you know, like an excused absence or so. Those are days that we can take. If there is like a, we can't take it on a test day or anything of that nature, but we have two days each semester that we can take. The, after those two days, if you go over those two days, it's kind of all now up to the school board or you know the directors of the program or the director of di didactic gear. So it's all dependent on the situation. I know that I spoke to a director at another program and she was telling me that one of her students actually like had a baby was you know like was pregnant and or well one of her ment mentees was pregnant and so she had to actually kind of withdraw from school for a little bit but she still held her place so then she can go back like the next year and complete her second year or something along those lines so there are stipulations and there are like areas where they will give you a free pass. Um, you just kind of have to make sure that you make everything known, um, whatever information they ask for. I know when I was an undergrad and someone passed away and I went to the funeral, they required like a funeral, like the funeral pamphlet to make sure that we weren't like just trying to get out of school or take the test early. It's It was really ridiculous, but if that's what the school needs, then make sure that you're ready and able and available to provide them with all of that information. But they are pretty good with respect to allowing you to miss certain days for valid reasons. So no worries. How do you make the time to make YouTube videos during PA school? Love your videos. How do I make the time to make YouTube videos? Okay guys, so I know you, many of these, like you guys ask me this question and you guys love the videos and I cannot take all the credit. My husband. the credit my husband is amazing okay he is an amazing producer he has done two movies in the past uh, and I was actually a producer on those movies so I'm really excited about that just to share that little tidbit of information with you all but he um, actually is a movie director and he's an actor and a writer right, quiet everybody quiet here we go rolling and action <laughs> Got it? Doing good. good. I love it. it all right. Great. Let's go. He has all of the knowledge to help me out because I'm like little old me, super social media, not savvy. I'm really about the books, but he's the one who helps me out a lot, you guys. So I spend my Sundays making my videos. I will just kind of knock some videos out on Sundays, different uh questions that you guys may have, maybe different ideas that I came up with on my own, that I, questions that I had when I was going into PA school. And I do those videos and then I just kind of shuttle them off to him and Aunt takes care of the rest. Like he does all of the editing, he takes care of the music, he does any of the little, uh, like sometimes you have heard a voiceover here and there, that's him. Like he does an amazing job. I just kind of have to come back on the back end and be like, oh yeah, that's cute, I love that. And I really don't even have to do that because 
he it's amazing once he does it and once he's finished with it but uh after he does that we just kind of put it in the queue and it's ready and set and available so that i don't necessarily have to do a video for another four weeks or you know another two weeks depending on how many i made on that weekend or on those times when i actually have like a break so during spring break i made some videos and during my christmas break i made videos that kind of thing so yes it seems like i'm kicking out these videos like left and right and i'm in school like how am i passing i know that don't be fooled you guys like i have help okay i have a team <laughs> A team of one called Anthony, um, and he helps me tremendously. So that is how I make YouTube videos while in PA school. How is work-life balance for PAs compared to physicians? I know you are still in school, but how much flexibility are you expecting? So yeah, um, I, I don't know fully, but you know, like on that ER, my true life, I'm an ER physician video. You know, Dr. McLennan talked about, you know, how he actually has a flexible schedule. He may be on for like a week or so, but then he's off for a week and a half or something along those lines. So it's it. I expect that my life is going to be just all the better. It's going to be amazing, you guys. I expect that I'm going to have a lot of flexibility. There are a lot of PAs that I do know, like a good, a fair amount of PAs that I know, and they're fairly, they have their life seems amazing. Like they're traveling, they're on vacation, they're coming in like nine to five or, you know, three to 11, three to 10, that kind of thing, or a seven to three. And after that, their day is done. And then they may be off. Off a day and then come in on the next day um, so it's all a matter of kind of where you're working if you want a more like regimented schedule obviously like work and you know you don't necessarily want to work weekends or stuff you kind of have to look and see what kind of job you want so family practice that kind of thing you can work at the urgent care and the urgent care that I used to work at their hours are like eight to three eight to two and then three to 10 or something along those lines. So it was really kind of just go with the flow. Maybe you might want to work a double that day and then you have, you know, the next day off and the day after that off and then work a double the next day and still get your hours in. So I really expect it to be extremely flexible. That's why I chose the profession. And um, so far, it seems like it's going to be that way um, unless I'm working in something that's super like high acuity type of thing. I don't really think that that's what's going to happen, but I'm, I'm expecting a lot of flexibility and that is why I chose this profession. So if you're looking for flexibility, definitely come over here to the PA side because that is like our middle name, PA flexibility. I guess that would be our last name. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is phlebotomy a good route to go? Do most schools accept it as PCE? I plan to get my CNA and use it next summer maybe. I just want to have varied experience. All right. So yes, phlebotomy is a good route to take for PA school um, PCE experience. Now, when I say most schools take phlebotomy as your patient care experience, I mean that as like most schools. I don't know if all schools do it. I don't know which schools personally does it. This is like per CASPA's little information um, and then just from what I've seen on different schools' websites. But you have to do it yourself. You have to go and do the research yourself and call the schools that you're interested in and say, hey, um, I'm a phlebotomist, but I'm also going to be a CNA. Um, does my phlebotomy training count as patient care experience? But from what I understand, you are, you're literally like touching the patient, you're drawing blood, like that actually counts. Okay. So um, you should have no problems with that, but just to to be on the safe side, go ahead, call the school, make sure you know for sure, and everything will, you'll have no questions because it's coming straight from that program. All right. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for sending these questions. Uh, again, if you have any questions that you want me to answer in the future on a future video, go ahead and leave those in the comment section right now. And if you have an audience, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thanks again for joining me on this journey. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.